I'm cancer physical therapy specialist, Dr. Leslie Walke of The Recovery Room. Today we have a question from John in New York. John asks, I'm about to start radiation to my chest for lung cancer. I was recommended to start physical therapy. What are the short-term and long-term consequences of radiation and how does physical therapy help? Let's get John his answers. Well, first, probably the best consequence of radiation therapy is that it kills cancer cells. <laughs> However, radiation does have both acute side effects, which are the side effects that happen right away, and late side effects, which are side effects that appear months or even years down the road. <laughs> The good news is that many of the acute and late side effects can be minimized or prevented with physical therapy. Let's start with the acute side effects that usually happen in the last days or weeks of the course of radiation. The two most common acute side effects are fatigue and skin reaction. The fatigue resulting from radiation is most likely attributed to possible anemia, other stressors, and to the body working so hard to repair damaged cells. And it should not be a surprise for you to hear me say this, but studies show the best way to reduce fatigue from radiation is with an exercise routine. This is most likely why John's radiation oncologist sent him to physical therapy when he started radiation. A second common acute side effect is the skin reaction or the skin redness that often accompanies radiation treatment. Radiation oncologists call this desquamation. There is no way to prevent this from happening, and depending on where your cancer is, this skin reaction actually may be a goal. Your radiation oncology team may give you creams or salves to help your skin as best possible. If the skin in the radiated area becomes so tender it's difficult to move, your physical therapist will help you find alternate comfortable ways to exercise until your skin heals. Yes, you need to keep moving. The most common late effect of radiation therapy is radiation fibrosis. This is the scar tissue that happens in the skin layers as a result of the radiation. This fibrosis usually takes months or years to develop. The best way to combat this is to begin a stretching program immediately after radiation and continue it for the next year to a year and a half or so to ensure that any radiation fibrosis doesn't limit your range of motion in that area. It's also a good idea to be on a strength program for the surrounding muscles so you fully regain all of your strength. If you are years out of your radiation and still have tightness, weakness, or discomfort, it is not too late to make it better. Please talk to any of your cancer doctors or nurses about getting you to a physical therapist. John, thanks for your question. Hope you are doing well. I'm Dr. Leslie Walkie signing out from the recovery room. Let's talk again soon.